Hello and welcome back to Mega Reacts. Today we're going to be watching Babylon 5 Season 3 Episode 12. Last episode got new uniforms for the main people on Babylon 5 because they are now an independent operation. They are not following a corrupt government back on Earth. And uh, yeah, so Sheridan is like, nah man, I run Babylon 5. I'm going to do it my way. You don't like it? Get the hell out of here. That's what's going on. We're done with this uh, ministry of truth. We're done with the bullshit. We're fighting the darkness. We ain't got time. All of the shenanigans going down. We also had Delin get stabbed, which made Sheridan, or as she calls him, John, uh, realize how much he cares for her. And we're going to get some cross species, uh, good old fashioned loving in uh, no time, I think. But you know what? I'm, I'm all for that too. Uh, we had Londo poison his one-time ally to try to get something done. And yeah, that's kind of where we're at. This felt like episode 11 felt like beginning of a new chapter, Babylon 5. So I'm interested to see where we go on with the story for this new chapter. So let's just get right into it. But before we do, come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. Let's get it. But they're all kind of whoa. Who is? Good morning. Someone's having a dream of walking in naked. See who's coming in today. Are you dreaming? <laughs> I hope you're dreaming. Uh, a couple of drowsy ships. Bari personal. If I was on the bridge. Even a few breeze. I would hope you're not dreaming. Put me online with the first ship and let's get this show on the road. Joe's already on the road, ma'am. Sir. What? Is there a problem? <laughs> You're naked. You're naked. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Ah, Centauri Prime. There you are. Are you not on Mimbar? I was just looking, really. I didn't touch a thing. It's maybe the drapes a bit, but there was this large <laughs> flying thing that I tried to, you know, swat. We have arranged for a ship to take you back to Babylon 5 as soon as you are ready to travel. From there, you will continue to Minbar. I do not trust Ooh, this. I, I heard a new joke. What is more dangerous than a locked room full of angry nons? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what is more dangerous than a locked room full of angry nerds? One angry non with the key. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't see the humor in that joke. Oh, that is a lot of angry narn. Is that the joke? <laughs> Does someone have the key? <laughs> We're both career military means we define who we are by what we do. We left all of that behind when we broke away from Earth. Yes. Even I've already dealt with all that. Hmm. Consciously, but from what you were <laughs> Not saying. Not subconsciously. Subconsciously, you're still trying to work it all through. You don't know where you feel. You're a damn anymore, shrink. How to define yourself. You're feeling vulnerable, lost, and exposed. It's all perfectly obvious and completely understandable. It'll pass. Your subconscious just needs to work it all through. Hey, it could be worse. You could be having dreams where you're showing up to work naked. <laughs> You'd be in real trouble. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna get some more of this. That's funny. Whatever it is. You want anything? No. I'm it fine. is. It is green. You get that joke? That reference? Londo? My great sent hairy friend. Like water? Bugs? What? What? What is going on? Oh, kill it with a sword! Die! 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 Man, how tough is this little bug? You get it? Ha! There you see! Victory! To trifle with the centauri. That was the baby. More of you. There are more of you! <laughs> yes! I'm eating this up. 
I'd like to see you tonight. <laughs> Are you not seeing me now? I would think <laughs> she doesn't get it. Meet. You know, back home, we have an old saying. Eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. <laughs> Humans can be a very depressing people. Only if we get turned down for dinner. Well, we cannot have that. How can we? Cannot. Let it go, Sheridan. Beer? Yes. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? You can come Is out. Is she now. for Veer? A wife? <laughs> she is lovely. Even bald. Hello, Veer. Is it not glorious, Veer? Your wife has come all this way just to see you. How can we be married? I've never even met you before. It was all arranged through your uncle and my mother, the Lady Drusella. You know nothing about me. I know that in your face I see a gentleness and a kindness of spirit. Yes. When I marry, I want it to be for love. Ah, uh, a radical. <laughs> That's just the way that I feel. If you give me a chance... Most radical. We've had a lot more Norns than usual come through here lately. Most of them escape in the home world. So far, I don't see a problem. The more they can get away from the Centauri, the better. No, oh, hey, I agree. And I noticed the name of the Centauri who approved them. Abraham Olinconi? you got to be kidding me. Since when is that a Centauri name? Yeah, well, that was my reaction, too. Oh, yes, deliriously. But I always associated delirium with fever, so... There you are. Then let me be a fever from which you never recover. And hey now, <laughs> fever from which you never recover. I just have to say, I cannot believe for most of season one, I didn't like Veer. What in the hell was wrong with me? It's such a amazing character. And he plays against type with the, the Centauri. He is not your usual Londo Napoleon-esque. Conqueror, look at me, look at me, Peacock Man. He is a kind soul who deserves better than me not liking him in season one. <laughs> but I love him now, so no harm, no foul. <laughs> He's in love. Wow. Is he sending all the darn? Would you like to tell me what this is all about? I needed a name to put on the papers. I don't have the authority to approve transfers from the Narn homeworld, so I invented somebody who did. <laughs> I like that picture over there. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a favorite of mine, too. <sighs> better? So. No. <laughs> it's not better. Enough <laughs> salt? Just right. I am having way too much fun here. Hey! I knew if I followed you long enough, I would find the murderer. Fear! Get behind me. Look, I don't know what you. Come on, Veer. Handle your business. Murderer. Veer? He did like Come on now. Oh, 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 you draw blood? I draw blood back. Yeah, yeah, put it down. That's a Shanka. That's a Shanka. Shoot you in the face. What the hell is this all about? I don't even know. Here's not a murderer. Every time I show my face around here lately, somebody hits me. First Jakar, then the Ryans, and now this. <laughs> so brave of you. He was brave. Putting yourself in front of me like that. Oh, yeah. That. Even terrified. So proud of you. Fear. If a Narn declares a blood oath, there's usually a damn good reason. I heard there was a woman with you. Is she all right? Yes, Linda Steen, my wife. Well, soon <laughs> to be. You know, it's it's done, but it's not really done. Can, can I ask you a question as long as you're here? Uh, I suppose. What do women want when things get, um, you know... Uh, uh, Physical? Physical. <laughs> Uh, we are um, different species, sir. They want you to dance around, around them and sing Isn't a song. There were other women, but I never got past one. You see, we have six, uh, 
We have six, you see. And <laughs> each one is a different level of intimacy ah, and pleasure. Okay. So, you know, first you have one, and that's... And then there's two, and then by the time you get to five, it's like... I want to hear about six. Six, 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 six. I really don't know what, <laughs> what to tell you, Vera. I mean, there may be, as you say, something in the air. Hey, ho, ho, ho. we're, we're, we're all, we're all horned up and ready. Captain, I... Oh, oh come on. Oh, sorry, I, I... No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't mean Come to... on, you're interrupting. It's all right, it's all right. Um, what is it? I think you better meet me in London's quarters ASAP. Because Veer thinks he's helping Narn, but they're really being sent to... I know. ...death camps? We ran a check on all of the Narns who left Narn using Veer's travel papers. According to the transit and relocation files, every one of them, all 2,000 Narns, all of them, are dead. No one of the Narns are after you and anyone close to you. Oh, they're going to kill his soon-to-be wife. 2,000 dead Narns. Londo. Well, it's a Londo. Good to see you. No, no, no. Initiative. They're not dead. They're not? They're not altered the record so nobody would go looking for them okay Why? okay because i had to do something my only regret is that i couldn't have saved more of them everyone knows that wherever there's trouble there's always a narn at the center of it that's all they are you know trouble it's not their fault they're simply inferior it's genetics Everything they touch. Fear can't falls marry apart. her. She's a specious. I have something for you. Please come. I have a dead Narn. Look at him. Ha ha ha. Lindsay. I knew you'd be surprised. He's still alive. Yes, of course. I saved him for you. Our soldiers would bring them in 10, 20 at a time, and we put them to sleep. It was more humane than they deserved. Eugenics? Really. But father's always been overly charitable. You could, you could see the flames rising up into the night like brilliant flowers. Oh my God, she's a psychopath. <laughs> Bright, run, Veer. Opening and run. Spreading wider. Run, run. Veer. Oh, Veer, it's not like he's really aware. And after the first few, it's really quite easy. Except this one, as a token of my love. No, no, I, I, that, that, that is not the kind of love I'm looking for. All right. What do you think? That's me. This is Centauri. Nope. That's Abrahamel Lincoln. Centauri relocation. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. You did a very good job creating Abraham a Lincoln, very funny. I did get him, it the first time. And he's still authorized to issue travel papers, so I figured, why not take advantage of it? I will wait for you. You don't have yeah, to do yeah, you, that. No, you, but I will. You don't have to. So I take your gentle face with me, transmuted into memory by the alchemy of my affection as deposit on our wedding night. She sounded romantic before she went into her whole, I want to kill all the Narn. I've killed hundreds. It's not that bad. Now, after hearing her say that, when she says all this romantic shit, she just sounds like a crazy woman. So I guess, uh, yeah, I guess when you hear someone talk about genocide and uh, eugenics and uh, holding of entire people, it kind of, uh, What's a different bend on anything else they say? But you know, Veer's getting his kiss, so whatever. I will see you again, Veer. I hope not. Soon. No, no, you can go. Well, what relationships don't have their ups and downs? <laughs> hey, dude, put those tentacles up. I'll be right back with you. That was Babylon 5, Season 3, Episode 12. What a great, fun, funny, heartwarming episode that turned into a very dark and gloomy and sad episode. Uh, it was about love, for the most part. Veer and his soon-to-be wife, and Sheridan and Delenn. And it was great. 
We had great moments, romantic moments, moments that made me smile. I smiled and laughed a ton this episode. And then we find out Veer's wife is a true Centauri, so of course she hates the Narn. Thinks they're just animals, probably don't have souls, and uh, they can be killed and and uh, coal the herd, and you can gas them and do whatever. It's fine. It's only Narn. They're just animals. Just animals kill animals right animals don't have souls fine it's fine fucking psychopath londo you're a psychopath i love you londo you're a psychopath absolutely insane how <laughs> how funny and lighthearted this show can be and then it flips on a dime and you're trying to figure out what the hell's going on uh i love it i love everything about it uh it was a nice little slowdown from the last few episodes that really built up what's going on in the world and in the universe and uh, the kind of different conflicts and really pushing forward the, the overarching plots of the multiple seasons. This was kind of a slowdown episode just to give us some time to breathe, make us laugh, make us think. Babylon 5 is great at those things and many more. Yeah, it was... Uh, it was a different episode. And uh, we also learned that Veer had never gotten past one. One tentacle out of six. Every tentacle is a different step in the sexual evolutionary chain of uh, Centauri uh, sexual exploitation. Apparently. Something like that. So uh, maybe we'll get to tentacle two, maybe three, maybe four. Five and six are a little crazy, but uh, one can hope to see how... Uh, how the Centauri reproductive dance works. But uh, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna think about that when we go to bed tonight. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, continue to come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega, signing off. <laughs>